They said I was crazy for believing in treasure. They called me a madman, a fool, someone who needs to shower more. But I know it's real, and I'm gonna find it. Now, I knew I couldn't do it alone, but there was no point hunting for gold if I had to pay my workers to find it. So with the help of some indecipherable fine print, I got gnomes to sign up for the treasure fund, and we got to work. However, I didn't just need lots of workers, I needed good workers. So I had my gnomes double up on their working hours with unpaid training. You know what they say, it's not working hard, it's working smart, but also hard. But the deeper we got, the more I realized not every gnome was up to the task. So I had to make the painful decision to employ qualified and expensive professionals. Just when I was thinking maybe my work is done, I realized these gnomes were too stupid to understand how to work together. So I had to find ways to combine their skills for maximum efficiency and minimal cost. That's when I realized that sending gnome after gnome to their death, uh, place of work, was only gonna get me so far. I needed to think bigger. Bigger than a gnome. Bigger than a house. I needed a city. So after renegotiating a few contracts and writing even more indecipherable fine print, I had me an industry supply chain that was worth its weight in gold. Not that I'd ever pay for it. We tried time and time and time again, and we kept faith. But every time we got a little deeper, and I knew eventually that precious treasure would be all mine. <laughs> I love gold. <laughs>